2020 will be a busy year at the polls for voters in Forsyth County. For anyone casting a vote, there will be a few changes that Director of Forsyth County Voter Registrations and Elections Office, Mandy Smith, wants to make sure you are prepared for. It's an exciting time in elections in Georgia, and it's a very exciting time in elections in Forsyth County. We've got the implementation of the new statewide election system, and so that'll be coming to Forsyth County as well. And um, in addition, we also have uh, five new polling places that have been added in Forsyth County. So now there's 20 different election day polling places. Along with new voting equipment that will provide voters with a printed ballot to review prior to casting their vote, residents could be voting in a new location this year. By adding those polling places, that means approximately 50,000 voters here in Forsyth County have now a new assigned polling place on election day. So we encourage everyone to take just a couple of minutes. You can go online. You can go online to www.mvp.sos.ga.gov and you can verify your voter registration record there as well as your election day polling place. Um, and additionally, they can just contact our office and we can give them that information. Once you know where to vote, Smith says voters can decide how they want to cast their ballot. Voters can request an absentee ballot by mail so they can vote at their convenience. We just need a signed written request in our office and then once we get that process, then we'll mail a ballot to the voter. So there's three options actually for voting in the upcoming election. You can vote by mail, you can vote in person during advanced voting, or you can vote in person on election day. Applications for absentee ballots can be requested for those looking to vote from home. Advanced voting hours and dates vary by location, and voters will be able to find a schedule of advanced voting options on the Voter Registration and Elections homepage at ForsythCO.com. With the number of elections set for 2020, making sure you're prepared and informed is important for all voters. What I do for a living, every election is equally important. Um, so we can't encourage enough if you choose to and if you want to go vote, then we want you to go out there and vote and we want you to have the best experience possible that you can. Ultimately, we just want to stress that we want everyone to go out who wants to vote, to go out and make sure that they are registered, that they know where they're going to go to vote um, before they actually head out. Especially since we have added the five new polling places, there's a chance that theirs might have changed. We did issue precinct cards, so a little postcard went out to all those 50,000 plus people that were affected by those changes. But we know mail doesn't always make it to where it's supposed to go and people think it's junk mail and throw it away. So we can't encourage enough to go online or give our office a call and just verify. And then additionally, advanced voting, um, the hours vary at each location. Not all locations are open the first two weeks. So again, please just double check before you head out. And also on our website, you can check out your sample ballot as you can prior to every election. And um, we've got some other good information on our website as well. The website also includes information on registering to vote. So whether it's your first time casting your vote or your 100th, make sure you know how, when, and where you can vote in 2020.